Hello everyone, this is the Joke Fiend, and today I want to share with you a joke that I genuinely felt was very funny. Now, this is a joke that was submitted to me by a user by the name of um, Ratas Vadume or something like that. I don't know, I'll put his YouTube screen name on the screen here. Anyways, um, he submitted this joke to me and I found it genuinely funny because this is the type of joke that I like. However, I can tell you that probably half of you guys out there probably won't like this joke. But, I don't know, it's something, I don't know why, what it is about jokes like this, but I really enjoy them. And maybe you guys will understand why when I get to the end of this joke. And I, I tweak the end of this joke a little bit, but you'll, you'll, you'll see when we get there. Anyways, the joke goes as this. There's a guy who goes to work, and he walks to work every day on foot. And each day he has to pass this huge monastery with a bunch of monks that are always working around outside and inside the monastery. But inside the monastery itself is this large tower. It's erected right in the middle of the monastery. It's this huge tower that just looks out over the entire town. There's one room on the top of this tower and has one window with a light on inside. And each time this guy walks to work, he says to himself, I wonder what the hell is in that room on the top of that tower. And he keeps thinking about it, and he walks back and forth to work, and each day the curiosity to know what is in there just builds and builds. So he finally breaks down and asks one of the monks that was working outside the monastery, walks up to him and says, excuse me, sir, um, I pass by this monastery every day on my way to work, and I was just wondering, what, what, what is in that tower? There, there's a room up there with one window and a light on. What, what exactly is in there? And the monk simply replies to the man, um, I'm sorry, my son, but I can neither tell you nor let you see what's in there unless you become a full-fledged monk. And the guy's like, wow, you can't even say a word about it or anything? And he's like, no, my son, it's a very, very sacred thing to know what is up in there. And he's like, well, okay, I guess the rules are the rules. I'm going to go to work then. And the guy goes on to work, and he walks back and forth each day, and the curiosity just keeps building and building. He's like, what, what is so secret in there that they can't even tell me about it, let alone show me what's up there? So he just breaks down. He goes, I, I, I got to know what's in there. So the guy walks up to one of the monks, and he says, I want to give my life to God. I'm quitting my job. I'm quitting my life. I am now a servant of God. I want to become a full-fledged monk. So the monks take him in, teach him all the ropes of how to become a monk. Sure enough, as time goes by, he becomes a full-fledged monk. The guy wakes up the next morning and he says, All right, now that I'm a monk, I want to be taken up into the tower and shown what is in that room up there. The monks say, Very well, my son, follow us. So the monks take him up into the tower, bring him right to the door. And they open that door. And once the gentleman gets a look of what is inside that room, his jaw just drops. Because right there, standing in front of him, And then the monk says, I hope you understand why we can't let anyone see or know what's in here unless you become a monk.